Um, first up, Eric Goodman. Go for it, Eric. Hey Josh, obviously this match carried um, extra emotion. I think everybody felt it. Seems like both teams genuinely did go all out, you know, to, for the win in this rivalry. So when you look at a match kind of near the end of the season, where do you think this team still needs to grow in order to win and get results in these big end of season matches? Um, yeah, a number of areas. I think the, the maturity and certainly the discipline that um, we constantly talked about when we've been in our best moments, we have showed some some good discipline and maintaining organization and there were things we talked about today with this opponent and knowing what they wanted to and how they can hurt you. And by and large, it was, it was a pretty good controlled performance for us. And where we get into trouble is, is those little ways that they can, you know, that, that we start to make the field a bit bigger and start to go when we don't necessarily need to. And, and that's where they're dangerous. Then they can have space. And, and obviously we've talked about being able to, to keep our lines a little bit tighter, a little bit lower. So uh, again, I think discipline and in the, in the maturity, we obviously need to also bring in more, personnel, more competitive personnel in, in, in a number of areas. And um, those are things that's already being talked about and addressed. But um, it, it was a solid performance, to be honest. And, you know, we gave up the red card unnecessarily. A long ball that everybody sees coming, we should we should be reacting to better. It's it's not a, a part of the field that we need to go press in. This is what we talked about previously. Um, and and that hurts us. The red card, prior to that red card, I know they started the half with a little chance, but after that, they didn't have a whole heck of a lot. And then we had a good control of it, created some decent opportunities. Um, and then obviously it's going to be a grind when you go down a guy. But, um, you know, it's, it's disappointing in some levels, certainly. Thank you. Next up, Chris Bills. Go for it, Chris. Thanks, Laura. Uh, hi, Josh. Um, seems like speed on the back line has been an issue that sort of crept up on you guys a number of times, but certainly late, later in this mm -hmm. season. Um, tonight, I guess, can you kind of explain um, why Jean has not been starting the last couple of matches and, and also just how much that is an area where you guys need to, to, to get better this off season? Yeah, I think backline speed, we've, I mean, we've talked about it for a while. It, it certainly hasn't crept up on us. We lost Beasler and he's been out 12, 13 games. So we we've talked about the speed with, with a, certainly our, our center backs and our fullbacks, but, but again, the, the mistakes are, are not just based on speed. I mean, there's recognition as to what's happening on the play is the pressure, where's our line should we be dropping? So those are all things we've, we've talked about. We work on, we, we've got to continue to work on. You got to get them right all the time. And, um, you know, that's, that's the layering in the deep, the detail and the, and the consistency with the players. But um, Z has been a good player for us. Obviously tonight, uh, again, Hector and Diego have a good, a good understanding. We were aware of Obreon's speed. That was, it was a concern. It obviously, um, they got behind us in the first half with, with Nikki. So I like that matchup for Nikki a little bit. And, and I just like Hector and Diego's, you know, for the most part, they're understanding they're able to overload. So that was, that was part of the idea there. And again, I thought, you know, for the most part, those, those guys performed fair, fairly well. The first goal, again, um, getting pressure to the ball with Musa, if it's not there, Sebastian or, um, Susu can drop a little bit. Nikki can stay more narrow. And once there's no pressure, we need to drop. And again, reactions after that are difficult. Johan needs to come out and address the ball as well when we get, progressed out in the wide areas but um you know speed absolutely physicality absolutely there's some areas that we've got to address but we also you know play good soccer and we, we've got to find pieces that are going to help us there as well but um you know there's certainly some areas that, that we've talked about and, and we'll get addressed thank you next up mark turner go for it mark go for it mark thanks laura hey coach there were several key moments dotted throughout the match but arguably the two most key of the moments were uh, Turn right onto Main Street. We're conceding the goal uh, right after you scored yeah. and, yes. the P and the PK. I'm wondering what your take is on both of those moments. It, yeah, I think, um, again, the, the goal right after we scored is uh, disappointing. Again, I think GT is in a position where he can get a little pressure. And if he goes and gets pressure, Cecilio is giving him cover. And when he doesn't get pressure, CC gets caught in a little bit of no man's land. So they clip it over him. But there's still a lot of work to do. We still have seven guys below the ball. And and again, once we don't get pressure to that, we, we should collectively just stay compact, start dropping our line until we can address the ball carrier. Um, and, and when we don't do that, they, they, they bypass Nikki. And, and Johan's in a position, you know, he's not far enough over to help out quicker. And, and it's a little bit of dominoes. So those are things, again, that we, we've got to continue to work on and, um, you know, get these guys to understand it more. Because when we have good, good height, good structure, good pressing cues, um, we make it pretty challenging. But some of these goals are just are just too easy. So unfortunately, that one we got one. They got one back right away after we did. Killed a little bit of the momentum for us. And then um, 
obviously the red card was a big one. What, was that the second one that you were talking about? I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah, it was. I wonder whether or not he felt it was a, a red card. I mean, from my vantage point, it looked like it was a bad first touch. Player was on the way down already. Yeah, no, I think it is. I think the player's in a position where Hector, if he puts a hand on him, he's he's going to get a red. It, it goes before that, though. It's it's a back pass to the goal. We have no real need or business to go press right there. Um, we were going to high press just on the goal kicks where it was pretty structured and uh, organized and, and let them have it there because – these types of balls, 50-50s, duels, there's a lot of things that can happen, but our, our, our lack of, you know, dropping as that player is hitting the ball is ball is is not good enough. And uh, it's very preventable, and it's unfortunate that it happened, but it changed the game. It changed the game, absolutely. And then my second question, Coach. Uh, obviously, we saw a peach of a goal this evening from Diego Fagundes representing his 60th professional career goal. Yeah. Just wondered yeah. if you wanted to say a word or two about that. Yeah, Diego's been an extremely good player for us, and we've played him in a number of roles this year. He's been as a six and an eight for us early in the year, and he did that extremely well. Um, he's played out left. He's played out right. Um, you know, he's he's a very responsible, calm player, and, um, you know, he's probably better on the left. He's, he's, he's good in those little pockets, um, and, and we've mixed it up a little bit with him and CC last game, and, and certainly found himself there today, but that's what he gives you around goal is he, he scores goals. He's able to combine with guys. He stays relatively calm. Um, and it was a fantastic take. Very, uh, he's, I'd say him and Sebastian, if you put them around goal, they're our best guys around goal. The quality, the precision, um, the ideas and execution is, is, is extremely, extremely good. So was really happy for him. And, and obviously, um, you know, it would have been nice to get another one. Sebastian had a nice chance in the second half as well. And we're a little bit unlucky. Thank you. Uh, looks like we have time for one more question for Josh Wolf, uh, Phil West, go for it. Um, yeah, so actually, just one. I was curious a little bit about the um, the yellow card foul that was on Danny that could have been a red. I know you were talking about the fourth official. Um, yeah. What 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 did you what did you say? What um, what what did they say back? Yeah, I mean, we say a lot of things. They they said it was <laughs> reckless, but it wasn't violent, and um, you know, there's no intention for him to go play the ball. So you know, it was certainly reckless. You know, and there's plenty of tackles that come in with speed and force and have no intent on the ball and. Again, it's it's where we are. I didn't think that I didn't think the ref had a particularly good night. That's for sure. Um, you know, I think I think he was often inconsistent throughout. And again, is it a yellow? Is it a red? I'm sure they'll they'll <laughs> they'll send us an email saying something. But clearly, you know, they'll they'll back one another. And you know, they said it wasn't it wasn't violent. Is is the word that I heard? It looked pretty violent, but they said it wasn't violent. So um, it is what it is. Yeah, I was in the range of violent, I would say. Um, and so different different coach, though, but same result. Um, you know, you're 0 for 3 against Dallas. How, yeah. how do you solve them? What do you do next year? Um, well, again, I think I think in each game, there's there are real takeaways. I mean, if we wanted to dissect each game, we could do that. And we could talk about it. I think in each game, there are results there. And, and again, it's we fell off the boat in the second one where we had pretty good control. Uh, in this game as well, I think it was a pretty controlled performance. The red card changes the fate of the game. I think that's pretty clear. The second half, uh, they had very little. They didn't have much in the first half. And, and again, I think our, our ability to play and the, the pulse of the game was more on our tempo and certainly where we were at the second half. But, um, you know, we, we got to score goals and obviously be better when we have the lead and, uh, you know, be a little more ruthless in, that, in those areas. But, um, you know, I think, I think results were there in, in all three of those games. And, and it's disappointing to not get anything out of those games. But um, you know, we appreciate the fans coming out again. They've been tremendous all year. And once again, on the road, they were awesome for us. This was an opportunity to, to again, win that trophy and, and obviously give some bragging rights. So there's disappointment. Our guys put a lot into it. We talked about it. And, um, it's, it's, uh, it's one that got away.